y'all. I'm so excited to share my haul with y'all. I know that rhymes. Okay, I know it rhymes and it sounds silly, but I am. I have so much makeup. I can't wait to show you everything. So many eyeshadow palettes. And listen, one thing to know about me if you're new here, hey, I love makeup. I am basically like the opposite of a minimalist when it comes to makeup. I, I just love, and I love eyeshadows so much. So I just wanna share with y'all some things I bought, some things that were sent to me. I am excited. This Kiss Collection from Glamlight because do you see this huge box? Glamlight sent me their full Kiss Collection and I am so pumped for it. Let, let me unbox this, but if you're a Kiss fan, like this is the box for you. Like Glamlight, they, they kill it with the details. And before, before I move this big, <laughs> this big box, I just have to show you, like, look at this. Look at the inside of this. Let's start off with the thing that I think is the most exciting because again, I'm an eyeshadow palette type of person. I love it. It comes in like this collector box. I don't know, like this is cool, right? So opening it up, I already took the palette out, but here is the palette and it kind of sits in there and then you have this. So it's an experience, okay? It's an experience. And if you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, like you will have seen that I got this collection. We've got the the packaging that shifts, lenticular motion, very cool, beautiful. This is an official licensed IP collab. And I think that's really, really cool. You know, it's not just a inspired palette. No, like it's official. It's Kiss official, which I, I just, I think that's really cool. When I saw this revealed, I'm like, I have to have that. And I will just tell you right now, if Glimlight had not sent me this collection, I would buy it myself. I would definitely buy it myself. I do have an affiliate code with Glamlight, and I will put my codes down in the description box. Everything I talk about today, I will list and link affiliate code, non-affiliate code, affiliate link, non-affiliate link. Like it's all in the description box. Okay. I got you. I love this like variety that we get in here. And I I'm going out of town. Actually, when you're watching this video, I am out of town. Me and my family are headed to Texas for the weekend. <laughs> we've, we've got some stuff to do. If you watched my life updates video, this one right here, you will know that my weekends from here and I, so far away, I can't even see. I'm not gonna be home. I'm gonna be busy. And I think I'm gonna take this. We're definitely gonna have some occasions where I can play with makeup. And this green row right here to me is basically a neutral row. Okay, like green for me is a neutral. I have an olive undertone and green is my favorite color. So like win-win, you know? And this purple row is calling to me. I really like this bottom row of reds down here. I love red shadows. Listen to me when I say if you have green eyes, Red eyeshadows are just gonna make your eyes pop, pop, pop. It's gonna be beautiful, try it. Had Glam Light not sent this to me, having everything I have, I still would've bought that because I need that color story and I'm really looking forward to packing that with me in my travel makeup bag, which I have to pack. This is a Kiss Lipstick and it's like this brick red color. It's got Kiss printed on the bullet of the lipstick really cool, really pretty. Glamlight, they make really good lip products. Like I really, really enjoy them. I wear them quite often. We've got a lip liner in the same type of shade, really pretty. So yeah, I think I'm not even gonna put that back in the box because that needs to come on out west with me, <laughs> out west with me for vacation. So I'm gonna set that aside so I don't forget to put it in my makeup bag. New mascaras from Glamlight. I'm looking forward to trying these because I've tried two mascaras from Glam Light and they haven't been my favorite. It's a mascara primer and a mascara. Now, I never use mascara primers. Please let me know if I'm missing out. I do think the people that love mascara primers love mascara primers. Here's what the one looks like. It's one of those like plasticky ones. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to take this with me too because... 
why not? I'm going to test it and try it. But let me know, do you love mascara primers? It's like all Kiss branded because of course it is. Glam Light mirrors are really nice. Like I have a Betty Boop one. I have, Gar yeah, I have Garfield. I have Scream. I bought the Scooby-Doo mirror. Like I really like their mirrors. I love Glam Light. So I am really looking forward to traveling with these new products and really getting a feel for them. I told y'all last week that Singe Beauty was having a sale and that I was going to be purchasing during their sale, the day of the sale. When I woke up, I was still laying in bed and I'm like, Singe, I'm, I'm buying my brushes. <laughs> Singe, if you did not know, is a woman-owned brand and that woman happens to be my bestie, Aniela Kutnikvist. I'm so excited. Tuesday, me and Angie reunited again. I cannot wait. She works so hard on her brushes and they are amazing. I just picked up this one that was in front of me because I used it today. It's the FO2, but what I bought was a full set of the face brushes. I'm like, let me buy just another full set of the face brushes. And I bought an extra F05. You may be thinking, Heather, that's just a large powder brush. Now I have three, okay? She gave me one and I bought two more because when I wash this brush, I am sad because I can't use it. Like it has to dry, right? So this brush, the way it like picks up finishing powder for me is beyond good. Like it, like good is at this level, but it's going to the next level. Like this isn't the level, this is the level. And it's going to that level. It just sets everything perfectly. I'm calling it like, Angie, are you a witch? Are you a wizard? What did you do to make this brush magic? And you know what? I'm really winning because I'm going out of town. I have new brushes. That means I don't have to wash brushes before I leave. That makes me happy. I completely forgot because I did use this. This is the Glam Light Kiss, like paints, eye paints, whatever. I used this as an eyeshadow base in this video. So it's the Kiss white and black like eye base and I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to like test these more because I've never tried an eye base from Glam Light. If you know, you know how much I love Adept. They sent me their new Cyborg Choir palette. I love Adept. I mean, hello, we created the Heather Austin palette together. Beautiful mattes. We have beautiful shimmers, holochromes, multichromes, like all of that. This is just a fun color story. This is a fun color story for spring, for summer. I mean, I do what I want to do. The seasons don't tell me what to do with my makeup but I do think it's fun to take inspiration from the seasons and I definitely get that with this palette. I have been playing with this like, like I said here on my channel I have two looks with this palette and I've been playing it with it when I'm not filming too because I, I don't just love makeup for social media okay. I love makeup like I'm playing with it constantly and I've been I've played with every single shade in here and to me this is the amazing wonderful quality that I know love and expect from Adept. I do believe Cyborg Choir is sold out right now but I will still put a link to it down below and I'll put my uh, affiliate code if you want to get a discount all of that because I know they're gonna restock the palette. I didn't see that it was limited edition, but it's good y'all. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? It's good and I really like how like colorful and wild they went with the color story because you know sometimes it's good to swap it up. Like I've got a neutral look on today, but sometimes it's good to swap it up. I bought this thing, okay? I bought this thing. This is the Face Pro Bloom Me. I don't know. It'll be in the description box. I don't know. I'll probably butcher the name, but this is, this is a skincare device. Okay. I am going to link to Lori Hill's video in the description box for y'all. I've met Lori in person and she is so gorgeous, of course, obviously, but also like very kind, very genuine. I, I really, really enjoyed meeting her and I've really enjoyed her videos. So she was talking about this device in a video recently. She did a sponsorship with them and I will admit I am usually not for like facial devices, you know, I'm like, do they really work? I don't know. I, I just, I, I've never been compelled to shop a facial device. I've definitely been curious, but when I tell y'all Lori use this in the video, like just used it, like 
I did not see her like any editing cuts, nothing. She used it and I could see a difference. I was like, link in description box, putting in my credit card info and they shipped me this so fast. So I'm gonna be trying this, okay? I'm gonna be trying this. I wanna see, I can keep you updated. I think I paid like around 70 bucks for this. I saw the results in her video and I'm like, sign me up. Lift and tighten and be like skincare type of thing. I don't know all about it. And you see me looking snatched and flawless. I will definitely let you know if it's this device, but since it's new to me, I don't have anything like this. I really want to put it to the test for a while. I really want to see like what it's doing, all of that, all of that before I report back. Lunar Beauty. I love it's what I'm wearing today I'm wearing a lot of lunar beauty yes I did film this eye look it will be coming Monday I believe Monday this look will be coming and I am using the new collection from lunar beauty the moon shroom collection I am pumped y'all I bought strawberry moon I bought I think it's eternal eclipse with the moon I bought the blush palette like I buy everything Lunar Beauty. If they don't send it to me, I'll buy it myself. This color story, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. So this is what I'm wearing today for this more neutrally look. I mean, the packaging is amazing. The embossing on the pans are amazing. It's the beautiful Lunar Beauty shadow formula that I love. But I love this color story because it's so earthy without being boring. <laughs> I say that with love, you know, like mm, I'm into it. I saw a couple of questions like asking for some comparisons with different palettes like Raw Beauty Christie and other palettes and I, just, I don't see it beyond like a couple of colors maybe are similar, but this shade right here, like oh, I love, I love. So you will be seeing this look for sure. And I love these mossy greens. For me, my undertone, I feel like these neutrals, they're, they're going to work for me. They are going to work for me. And I love, like, look at the mushrooms, look at the butterfly, look at the moon. It's so lunar beauty. It's like fantasy land-esque. I love, like, look at it, 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 look at it on my eyes. And we also have glosses. So the glosses, listen, if you're like, I need that packaging, but I really don't want another eyeshadow palette or whatever. You get the packaging on the lip glosses. I really like that. I like details and I'm sure that's not like cheap to do. I'm so happy to have new Lunar Beauty lip glosses. Lunar Beauty makes my favorite lip gloss formula. I've said it before and I will say it again. When I bought my first Lunar Beauty lip gloss and liquid lipstick, I tried it and I was like on the site adding every other shade Lunar Beauty offered to my cart. Add to cart. This lip gloss is thin and watery. Like I can't, like I can't feel it. It doesn't feel like a thick, goopy gloss. It doesn't feel like other glosses I own. And it smells like cupcakes. I don't know if you know what I mean when I say cupcakes, because I couldn't like tell you a specific flavor of cupcakes, but it's like cupcakes. And we have three shades. So we have Flora, which is the pinky one. I'm wearing today uh, Soul, and I'm wearing this over a Lunar Beauty lipstick and lip liner. I will put it in the description box. And then we have a clear sparkly gloss, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna take the clear sparkly one with me out of town this weekend. A highlighter palette, the packaging. The highlighters inside I'm blinding you I'm wearing these two shades mixed today on my cheek do you see this wet look do you see this wet look like it's very ethereal I'm here for it packaging 10 out of 10 but I, I want to invite you I want to invite you come in take a trip down memory lane with me who remembers Lunar Beauty and the Greek Goddess collection this highlighting palette has been gone for so long. This is not a new, this is not part of my haul. This is, this is memory lane that we're on. Okay. We're in, we're in, an, we're in, we're in another phase. So this palette, I bought this palette and I have loved it. And you may be looking like you've loved it. 
the pans are full. A, 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 a little bit goes a long way. Like this was like a tap and this, okay? I love this. And then when it got discontinued and Lunar Beauty said it's not coming back, I'm like, oh, I treasure this and I only use it on the specialist of occasions. Why, like, do I think I'm gonna use up a whole highlighter pan? No, but you can't tell, like, you can't tell the part of me that is afraid because I'll never be able to get this again. I only use it on special occasions. So when Lunar Beauty said highlighter quad, it was like fireworks went off in my vision. I was so happy and I am so happy and if he ever says this is going to be discontinued, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to buy a backup. And I know this is new to me, but look, I know this is new to me, but again, I say, look, I have to have this. I'm so feeling myself in this highlighter and I feel that I can finally like sleep easier at night. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic. You know, I know I'm being dramatic. We're having fun here. I really, though, treasure this palette. And I'm so happy to have more Lunar Beauty highlighters. And, you know, to like, to be able to rave about them again. Every once in a while, ColourPop will send me a package. I never know if something is coming. It shows up at my door like Santa. You know, I'm like, I really love ColourPop. They definitely have some hits and misses for me. I recently did a full face of ColourPop video. I will link that for y'all for sure. Watch it if you love ColourPop. But they sent me their So Juicy Plumping Gloss Bombs. Now, I just got these. I did try on three shades today. So let me pop up me trying these shades on and I'll tell you the lip liners I used with them and all of that. These are such a popular type of product right now. I'm honestly surprised that ColourPop is just now coming out with these, but when I put these on my lips, I was kind of like, okay, I understand why it took a while because I do think this is a really nice formula. It's a thinner formula than the Tarte, like the Tarte Juicy, whatever they call them, the Maracuja Juicy. They have like so many different variations now, which I love. I love all of them. These on first trying just the three shades these do seem to be more sheer than the Tarte but they are more thin than the Tarte definitely more sheer than the makeup by Mario version of this definitely not as pigmented but beautiful listen I don't want one lip product forever right I like variety more is more we like to swap it up here we want to swap up our look and I like having this sheer thin version because it's also very comfortable, very pretty. I'm excited to wear these longer. I'm definitely going to be testing them, trying them over the month and see, and I'll follow up and let you know what I think later on. But I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And ColourPop, they're at a great price point. So I do have three more shades to try, but I didn't want to like keep wiping at my lips today because they can only take so much they can only take so much and we'll try the other shades later but i'm like you know i have these i'm pumped let me go ahead and like lip swatch three i have been thinking about craving lusting over the get stoned stoned tin pan palette I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Okay. Get Stoned is a brand. They're, they, they sell like the, the loose rhinestones that you put on your eyes, which are so fun. And I haven't done that in a long time. I feel like I'm due to like put some stones on my eyes for real, for real. They launched their first eyeshadow palette and I actually got to meet the owner a couple of years ago and I've never tried the brand. I've never tried the brand. They put out this palette, right? And it's all shimmer shades. Not multi-chromes, shimmer shades. Look at how pretty this is. It's so pretty. And I couldn't let it go. I saw Angela Bright do a video with this. Her eye looks, y'all, like I'm speechless at her eye looks. They're so beautiful. I will link her video on this down below. I know, like, I know. I, I understand that I have over 600 eyeshadow palettes. I understand. I'm not letting go of a single one, okay? I'm not letting go. But there was something about this that just kept pulling me in. 
and get stoned is independently owned which you know i love like i love i love I, first of all i placed my order and it shipped the same day impressive for an indie brand so did singe beauty by the way when i got this palette in my hands i'm like oh this is expensive like this is expensive packaging this stoned is raised i love details i love details i love packaging i love everything okay but i noticed i'm like this is luxe packaging like this is not cheap okay like they didn't cut corners when they were they were doing the packaging and then the embossing in the pan like i'm i'm ready to try this let me know what you want me to do with this palette i just got it like this is pretty right and while i was on this this the site i was thinking I was gonna buy some stones, but I'm like, hold back, hold back, Heather. Get the palette. And I did let myself buy these. This is pick me up applicators for the stones. So first of all, like again, they're not they're not cutting corners on the packaging. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I, I don't mind when brands have to do like some things that are a little basic, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. But I'm saying get stoned. They're not giving us basic. So these are like tweezers to pick up the rhinestones with. And I do have some tools for picking up rhinestones and like placing them that I like to use. But these looked very different from what I have. And because it gets stoned started because you get stones from them, you know, like they're a rhinestone, facial rhinestone brand. I was like, they probably know, they probably know their application tools. So I did buy this and I don't think it was very expensive at all. I got a package from Revlon and teenage Heather screams when Revlon sends me things because I'm like, what? Me, Revlon, Revlon, Revlon. I don't love everything from Revlon, of course. Nobody can love everything from everyone, but I do think it's like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's very cool that they send me a package. I don't know. Anyways, Sarah Cameron from Outer Banks. Love that show. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Sarah Cameron. She looks so beautiful. We've got the skin tint in here. We've got liquid cream serum blushes in here. I'm on a liquid blush kick right now. I love I love makeup of all kinds, okay? I don't discriminate when it comes to makeup. Whatever it is, I'm gonna try it. Every product may not be for me, but I'm gonna try as much as I can. And I'm excited. I've been, I've been really enjoying liquid blushes. And we've got a beautiful peach color in here, right? We've got this beautiful peach color. And I'm gonna try it. I recently did a top 10 peach blush video check that out if you haven't already because i actually try them all on i swatch them at the end against each other it's a lot it's drugstore high-end luxury everything check that video out but we've got a peach color so should we swatch a couple of these we should swatch a couple of these right and then here they sent me their foundation and i appreciate so much that they sent me three shades so I can like mix if I need to because I really love the Revlon color state matte foundation my friend Allie Dawson put me onto that foundation and it is amazing for oily skin trust but I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this one I, I can't remember if I have tried this I thought I had but I need to look through my collection because I'm like but is this new? Is that why they're sending it to me? Because it's new. So I'm going to compare it to my old one and see. But if it is like the old one, I liked it. Not as much as the matte because I have oily skin. But it was really, really beautiful. And whatever shade doesn't work for me, I can definitely give to my mom. Too Faced let me pick out a couple of things on their website, which I thought was really cool. Because I'm like, oh, there's some products on my list. I picked out the Too Faced Killer Liner. This is in the shade uh, Killer Camo, which is like an olive color. I, I'm telling y'all, black eyeliners, brown eyeliners, and greens, I can't get enough of. I have a green, I'm always going to buy the green. So, I've tried this formula before, but I don't have this shade. Should we do like a little swatch? That's olive. I like that. It would be pretty with this eye look I have on today, right? Like, it would be really pretty. I actually do have deep green in my waterline. I'm wearing the Dior dark green. I really like these liners from Dior. So, I'm excited to try this one. 
I'm like, Olive, 36 hour wear? I'll be the judge of that for sure. And then I picked out two of these kissing jelly glosses. I've been curious about these since they came out and I actually have these on my Sephora loves list. I was going to pick them up during the Sephora savings event that's coming up and y'all, I've been working on a video for weeks for the Sephora savings event and it will be coming soon. So please do subscribe if you want to see it. But I really have wanted to try these because something about these is so like fun and again like teenage Heather inside is like screaming at these because they just seem like do you remember Bon Bell? It was it Bon Bell or Bonnie Bell? Like I remember I always got the fruity flavors like watermelon and my best friend always got the like um sweet flavors like vanilla or cake or something like that and I was always like no fruit watermelon. Watermelon was my favorite. Good grief I can't open this. So something about these seem nostalgic to me even though I know it's a new product. So I picked out two shades knowing that if I like these I'm gonna buy the rest because why not like more is more okay like why not more <laughs> why not more so this flavor is sour watermelon because I told y'all like I was all about the watermelon um oh y'all I'm like back in fifth grade with my best friend smelling this it smells like watermelon candy it doesn't smell like watermelon. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It smells exactly like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. And if you didn't know, now you know, I could eat candy all day. The only reason I don't is because I know eventually I will get sick, but I never get tired of candy. I'm always having candy. In fact, right now I have Jolly Ranchers in my purse. This smells just like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Let, let's see. It's supposed to just be like a tent. I don't, I don't know that it's supposed to do a whole, whole lot. I mean, it's like tiny, tiny tinted red. Okay, these are coming with me this weekend too. It said, does it even say, share sweet kisses and treat your lips to your favorite juicy scents. Ultra nourishing lip oil gloss hybrid. Well, we will see. It says it smells like watermelon. It smells like watermelon Jolly Rancher. And yes, I will give my hubby a kiss wearing these. Kissing gloss, juicy oil in sweet cotton candy because I was too curious. One, I love a fun color. Let me swatch it first because I'll just tell you like, don't be afraid of these sheer color glosses. Like you see, it's a little blue. All it will do, if anything, is one, give you a glossy hydrating look and maybe like take things to a cooler tone. Should we smell it though? It smells like cotton candy. 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 I'm transported back. I remember. Let, let's do story time again. Let's go down memory lane again. When my husband and I were dating, we were young, we were in love, and I remember one day he like surprised me and he took off work and we went to the Mid-South Fair together back when it was at like over by the U of M campus, University of Memphis. And it's not there. It, it's not located there anymore, but it was like at the fairgrounds and you could go to like the fair and you could go to Liberty land and that the smell of cotton candy like that always makes me think of that memory. Like of me and my husband, we're going to be married 18 years this year, but this transports me back to being young and in love and him surprising me and taking the day off work. And we just spent the whole day together at the fair and it was just, oh, it was like a movie y'all. It was like a movie and the, this this makes me happy. Like this is nostalgia. This is nostalgia to me. I got a lip gloss from Bare Minerals. This is the Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm. This is in the shade Serenity. Serenity. All I can think about is Seinfeld and like Serenity now, Serenity now. That's pretty though. Okay. I've, I haven't tried this. Let me just tell you though, my favorite product from Bare Minerals. I don't have a lot of experience with the brand. I don't know a lot about the brand, but their Gen Nude highlighting blushes, shut the front door, shut the back door, shut all the doors, shut the windows. So I, I'm intrigued to try more from the brand. Oh, that's pretty. That's got some pigment. That's like a cool pinky color. Maybe more like, I bet it would be a more neutral pink if I paired it with a with the warm shade underneath, but that's, 
I don't know if I can smell anything. I don't know if I could smell anything after how strong the Too Faced lips smelled, but we'll try this. Let me know. Do you have a lot from Bare Minerals? Do you love it? I know they recently came out with like a full coverage matte foundation, so I could, I could be down to trust some Bare Minerals. Let me know what you think. Maybe I should like shop the brand during the during the next time I'm like online shopping because those highlighting blushes are good and I think this gloss is pretty, right? I got a bag from Kiehl's, who am I? Who am I? This is uh, Kiehl's favorites during Sephora's exclusive Beauty Insider event. Okay, oh, I like this. I like this, you know what? Like I would really like this bag for myself for traveling, like this clear mesh. But I also really think my son would like this or my husband. Like I could see them liking this. Like it's very kind of their style, like kind of sporty, sporty, sporty. Uh, when I say sporty, it makes me think of like sporty spice. So maybe like athletic is a better word. I don't know, but that's a, that's a cool bag. Okay. R Rare earth deep pore cleansing mask. Oh y'all, we have some time before the Sephora event. So I should, Oh, okay. Let me, let me wait. Let me not get messy. I should try this stuff though and let y'all know what I think of it. Like maybe I could upload a short or something with some impressions. Oh, okay. Let's see. Intensively purifies pores. I told y'all I've got oily skin, so I'm always looking for something for pores. So I'll try, try that. Whoops. Something fell out. Oh, Better Screen UV Serum Sunscreen SPF 50 with collagen peptides. I'll try this too because you see, I'm in a tank top today. It is, it's hot. It's hot. I love the heat. When I say it's hot, it's a compliment, okay? But also, I need to crank up the AC. So it's been sunny. Ooh, help visibly correct fine lines. Okay. I'm gonna try this and get back to you. I've really been loving um, some of the sunscreens I've been testing out recently. I'm definitely not like a skincare expert, but I have found things that like work for my skin. And I mean, I like what I like, you know? So I can let you know how that does. Let's see, I haven't, I haven't looked in here because I wanna look in here with y'all. The Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I actually have bought this for my husband before because unlike oily me, he has very dry skin and I know he really likes this 24 hour lightweight hydration. I remember he really liked this because it's not heavy on his skin and he's not really a big skincare person. So he likes things that are thin, easy, doesn't really have to do a lot with, but he, he really did like that. They also sent me the Retinol Skin Renewing Microdose Serum and an eye treatment, which I've been needing because my skin has been needing a little TLC. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying those. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> I was just like in a roll talking about those Too Faced glosses. I didn't even show you the other things they let me pick out. I got the Coco Bold empower cream lipstick i want to try this i've never tried this they sent me the plump and prime primer i want to try this well of course i do I, I picked it out and the makeup insurance longwear setting spray we're coming into summer where makeup tries to melt away so i'm hoping this will stay on my face i'm gonna pack this and take this this weekend too because it's supposed to help the makeup last and the plump and prime, I'll wait. I'm not, I don't like to take like new primers, concealers, foundations on vacation. Cause I like, what if, what if it's awful, but we'll try it. We'll try it soon. Feel lift prime plump miracle worker primer. I will be the judge of that. But I do want to, I do want to look at this, this shade of lipstick because it looks luxe. I've never tried these lipsticks from Too Faced. I love the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I love their highlighter. Like they make some staple products. So I picked out this shade and it looks good. It looks good. Should I swatch it? There it is. That's pretty. Okay, we'll definitely, definitely be trying that out. It gave me their Confidence Gel Cream and 
I'm pumped to try this. I love testing skincare. It's oil controlling moisturizer. I love because just because I have oily skin doesn't mean I don't need moisture. I mean, hello, I'm 36. I do want to take care of my skin. And it says it's a great part of a routine for oily skin. 48 hour oil free hydration. So we'll be trying this. Let me know. Have you tried this confidence in a gel cream? Oil control anti-aging armor. I'm going to test it and I want to tell you next week we're not going to do our haul on Friday. We're going to do a live haul on Saturday. I am really looking forward to that. I will figure out a time and I will make sure to announce beforehand but if you want to make sure you don't miss the live next week we're going to do it on Saturday so not tomorrow. Saturday after that turn on your notifications or, you know, look, cause I will definitely post about it and we're going to do a live haul and I'm looking forward to that. Like I'm into it. Keep hanging out with me talking makeup. If you like hauls, I'm going to pop up some hauls for you to watch here. If you love makeup, like I do, you want to see what's good, what's skip all of that. Check out this video here. Just hang out with me y'all. Let's talk makeup. I love makeup. We're going to be playing with all this new stuff soon.